Hi guys, this is G8 Israel. Yeah, of course, this is G8 Israel, but um, maybe this is a different video like <laughs> you used to know. So today I decided to try out a vlog instead of the normal sit in front of the camera, record your video kind of style. So I'm not really sure how it will go. I'm not sure if I really can do this. But it's something that I'm willing to try out and basically it's not it's not every day just sit in front of your camera and say some oh there's five ways to do this, five tips to do this and all that. Yeah, sometimes I would uh, maybe love to show you some part of my life. Although I do not really have a busy run food life kind of <laughs> like that. I'm more of a quiet, maybe boring person. <laughs> so well. Um, Today, I decided to try out and take out a new route and go in the vlog style. So, if you enjoy this video, that's if you... Well, you have to stay to the end of the video, yeah? To find out if you enjoy the video. Um, so, if you enjoy it in the end, just let me know. If you would love to see more content like this, you'd love to see more video content um, in this style, in this format, more vlogs. And maybe it would, you know, push me to start going out of my comfort zone which is my house <laughs> by the way i'm of an angel person yeah so um today i want to talk about something that happened recently yep so i attended a wedding <laughs> and this is kind of like a big deal for me because uh, i'm not really much of an outing person i think i've said that before but apart from that i i don't think i've attended a wedding in a very long while i you know really don't attend weddings like that uh well i think now that i'm doing a vlog i can i can actually talk about this dog back in <laughs> we have a dog in the compound and most of the time you probably would have heard it in a couple of my videos yeah so when next or in any of my video you hear me teaching something do not pay attention to it just listen to my voice <laughs> okay yeah that is i too i was talking about something that happened recently when i went to a wedding yeah normally i wouldn't have gone right because i i kind of like like my space so much <laughs> so yeah i went to this wedding it was my colleague's wedding not just my colleague actually my team lead's wedding so i knew that i had to attend just to you know kind of like show support and respect and all that to my team lead if not i would have just loved to sleep in at home and i even had a you know hospital appointment a doctor's appointment that day but i had to cancel um, because I wanted to be at my teammate's wedding. Yeah, so uh, I decided to attend the wedding. Very simple, you know, simple, nothing, <laughs> not nothing loud and all that. So, you know, I went, uh, I went to the wedding. I got to the venue. I met a couple of colleagues that I had met before. And, you know, we said hi and I went in and I just sat down very, very, at a very strategic pose. If you saw, saw where I sat, you know that, okay, this girl really, really, really um, is, would I say, maybe an introvert. <laughs> well, lots of people do not consider me an introvert, but I think that I am because I try to limit interaction with people as much as possible. Not because I don't like it, God, I love talking to people, I love interacting with people, but then... I get drained of my energy very quickly when I do that. And when it's a, with a lot of people, God, I could start having headaches. So I just prefer to just, you know, ch chat with maybe just one or two persons and then we're done. But just in a crowd of people, 20, 30 people, God, I'm going to feel so drained <laughs> of energy. Yeah, so I just sat at the strategic, um, strategic position. And I did know that they actually had a seat for... Um, um my colleagues so that people that work in my workplace um they had a table for them well well not like i cared anyway because even if i knew i'd I'll just prefer to sit where i was seated yeah so um eventually a, a couple of people a couple of colleagues saw me where i was and some came over to say hey hi how you doing and all that and you know i responded to them and they're like, i don't want to come over and i'm like oh no thank you um, i'm fine here i'm cool here you, you guys should enjoy um we're still in the wedding right just enjoy yourselves now i want to stay here and that's fine by me but then one of my colleague um who's a senior colleague or his supervisor as well <laughs> came over to me and i was like julia so you're here and you do not want to come over i knew you would like to sit alone because actually 
yes, I would love to see Donon, and he knows me because they've had a couple of hangouts, you know, just hang out, phone, and all that. And I was like, no, I'm not coming. As long as it's not official, no, I'm not coming. <laughs> and <laughs> and you know, he knew that about me because mwah, that's not my thing. So he was like, no way, he's not going to let me sit there. Like today, they actually came out, like came out. Really, I'm gonna just sit there and you know <laughs> stay on my own and you know i was even seeing a video like a movie on netflix when he came over <laughs> that's to show you how kind of like disinterested not really disinterested because then i we got there quite early and um they had not officially started the wedding so i was just instead of interacting with people i just plugged in my earphones and i was watching a movie on netflix <laughs> I'm <laughs> just waiting for everything to start so that I could, you know, get done with it and just start heading on. So, you know, he came home and was like, no, I'm not going to sit there. It's not going to let me. It's going to drag me. So he dragged me over to that table and then he started doing the one thing that I would love that he didn't do is <laughs> that introducing me to all of my colleagues because um, not I haven't seen or I haven't met them in person. Um, I haven't met all of them. I'd met some in person, so I knew some physically that um, I would say, oh, I know this person, but there were others and many others that I had never met in person. So he kind of like was just trying to like introduce me to people. And um, he was, yeah, basically, oh, this is Juliet Israel. This is Juliet Israel. And he was just like, oh, oh he would introduce me to the other person. Oh, this is this person. I'll tell the person that, oh, this is Juliet Israel. And, you know, kind of like say hi, maybe hug a little and you know move and <laughs> of course and then he introduced me to one person and was like oh this is Juliet and the guy was like I know her and me I was like oh I have never met you in my entire life <laughs> because yeah he was my colleague but I've never met him and he was like yeah I know her Juliet I know you know you're on Facebook um you I, I know about your recent book uh the magnetic mind um you you make a lot of posts and all that and I was like really you know this much about me I don't know anything about you <laughs> and um you know it was really so flattering and um there was one thing I realized and before I get into you know what I realized from that experience um um i also met someone a colleague as well and you know we got talking this one i've met him before in person so i think we met once or twice in person so i knew him but then we don't talk it's we don't have that interaction if it's it's just work 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 and 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 that's all we don't have like personal communication friendship stuff and all that no we don't but you know we were interacting and you know he was talking and he was like but, you know, Julia, you're doing so much. You're doing great. I, I actually see a lot of things that you do. And, you know, I'm proud. I envy you and all that. I'm like, really, what am I doing? And it's like, you you, you just did a hundred days email, email thing, you know, writing email consistently for a hundred days. And now you're currently into video, creating videos <laughs> for a hundred days. And I'm like, oh, really? Are you kidding me? I didn't know that you knew about this. I mean we don't have that communication so it means that you have been following me and i did not even know about it now this person is even different from the other person that i was introduced to and the person said oh they know me they know my works and all that so it just made me realize something that sometimes when we do good work um we feel like we're not noticed we feel like we're invisible we feel like nobody's seeing what we're doing nobody acknowledges because um many times People don't say, hey, Dara, you're doing great. Hey, John, you're doing amazing things. Keep it up. You know, people don't say these things. So we just assume that nobody's seeing what we're doing. But the truth is that people are actually watching. And what I'm just going to say is that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, um, what kind of work you're doing, as long as you're doing good work, you're putting in good work and you're doing that consistently, you should just keep doing it because you have no idea uh, what people are watching you know you, you have no idea um the kind of people that you're impacting the kind of people that are actually inspired by you the kind of people that are motivated to do something similar um because of just you taking action you doing something and showing up consistently you have no idea the kind of people um the people that are watching right so you know, just just keep doing what you're doing just keep putting in the good work just keep um um basically 
doing all of the good amazing stuff that you've been doing and the reward will show eventually because all of this good work will not go to waste eventually it shall speak for you right eventually it shall speak for you the bible says you should wait for it it's going to come at the end it shall speak so eventually it will speak for you and um i think the second thing i would um i picked from you know going out that day is sometimes a little interaction doesn't hurt <laughs> Well, I know that, you know, many times introverts, especially introverts, you know, they like to like, oh my goodness, I don't want to interact with people. I just want to stay alone. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Sometimes we need that space. But then sometimes a little interaction doesn't hurt. I didn't die. <laughs> I didn't die when I went to the wedding. I didn't die when I was introduced to, you know, all, all of these people, amazing people. I didn't die when I had a, a little chat 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 with them sort of you know it was amazing it was all normal i went i came back with my two legs <laughs> everything intact nothing changed so sometimes a little interaction does not hurt just interact with people and see um have a different world view from yours because we are only exposed to our own world views we're only exposed to our own ideas so sometimes a little interaction doesn't hurt yeah so um that would be it i think this is where i would be calling it um closing it for today um i hope that even in you know showing you or talking about my life and you know my experience i hope that you got something you learned something maybe just one thing or two things <laughs> and um thank you so very much for watching to the end um please like this video um, let me know what your thoughts are, especially, yeah, if I've ever asked for your thoughts, I'd, I'd really need it now. I want to know if this style of video, it's, it's, you love it. If you'd want to see more vlogs, um, so maybe that would actually even spoil me to go out more often. So, if you want to see more vlogs, and not just me sitting and facing my camera, even though I love to do that, but, you know, get to see the other side of me that is not always serious <laughs> yeah so if you if you like it let me know what your thoughts are in the comments i'd really really appreciate that if you want more videos like this and um please very importantly please subscribe to this channel yeah subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss another episode of my video the next time i do drop one so um, until next time that I come your way again, my name is Juliet Israel. I am a mindset coach. Apart from this video that you just watched, I share contents majorly on mindset related topics to help you upgrade your mind, your life and your business and finances as well. So um, if you love content on these things that I mentioned, and if you love this one as well, so just subscribe, okay? Give me that support, show that support, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, very importantly, so that the next time I drop a video, you are notified. Thank you so very much for watching till the end. You are the real MVP and I love you. Bye.